And hello everyone, I'm Darren Jaime. Today is Wednesday, February 13th, and you're watching Open, a live program bringing the Bronx and New York City straight to you. We also want to welcome our viewers on Manhattan Neighborhood Network, as Open is now being broadcast live simultaneously on MNN's channel. You can stay connected to us via Twitter at BronxNet TV and on Facebook at Open BronxNet Television. Well, a lot has been going on through the past week and over the last 24 hours. We're going to take you through it right now with some Bronx updates. The New York City Police Department is in mourning today after an officer is killed in the line of duty. It happened last night after 6 p.m. as police responded to the call of an armed robbery at a T-Mobile store on the corner of Atlantic Avenue and 120th Street in Richmond Hill when the suspect opened gunfire on police. Detective Brian Simonson was a 19-year veteran who died from a gunshot wound to the chest. Another officer, Sergeant Matthew Gorman, was also shot in the leg but survived his injuries. The suspect, shot and killed by police in the gun battle, he was later identified as Christopher Ransom, who authorities said had an extensive criminal record. This is the first NYPD shooting in the line of duty since the year 2017. Councilman Ruben Diaz Sr. is facing backlash over what many are calling homophobic comments made on air on a Spanish-language radio show this past Friday. The councilman stated that he faced rejection from the city council because, quote, over there, everybody's controlled by the homosexual community, end quote. Diaz Sr. also singled out openly gay speaker of the New York City Council, Corey Johnson. Mayor Bill de Blasio and Borough President Ruben Diaz Jr. both tweeted similar sentiments, urging the councilman to apologize for his comments. Governor Andrew Cuomo said Monday, quote, if he should be sanctioned, I think it'd be justified, but be up to Council Speaker Corey Johnson, end quote. The Federal Housing Administrator packed her bags and moved into the Patterson Houses in Mott Haven. Lynn Patton, the Regional Administrator for the United States Department of Housing and Urban Development, better known as HUD, will be staying with the family at the NYCHA development for four weeks. Patton says she wanted a first-hand look at the problems that have plagued the nation's largest housing system. Changes are expected to come to NYCHA soon after Mayor Bill de Blasio appointed Department of Sanitation Commissioner Catherine Garcia is interim chair. Well, that's all the time we have for Bronx Update. Stay with us. We'll have more right after this.